Hello and welcome to the ORCAD X Capture series. This video demonstrates how to place parts and add or edit part properties in the ORCAD X Capture. To add a part in ORCAD X Capture, navigate to Place, click Part, or use the P shortcut key. The Place Part window will appear on the right side of the screen. To include libraries in the list, select Add Library and browse the libraries. You may choose a custom library or the Capture X libraries provided by Cadence, which are located in the installation directory. The chosen libraries will be added to the list. To remove a library, click the Remove Library icon. Select the library and search for the desired part. Upon selecting a part, its symbol view and package details, including the part type, will be displayed. The Parts Per Package section shows the number of sections, or slots, in the physical package. To place the part, select the part and click on the Place Part icon, or double-click on the part. An image of the part will be attached to the pointer. Click to place a part. To rotate the part, go to Edit, click Rotate, or press the R shortcut key, or right-click and choose the Rotate option. To exit from the place mode, right-click and select End Mode or press the Escape key. You can search for a part by browsing and selecting the path, followed by specifying the part's name. The part is displayed in the library. Select the library and click Add. Double-click on the part to place it inside the schematic editor. Notice that the reference designator is not assigned. To assign the reference designator, Double-click on the ref desk and specify the ref desk. Alternatively, you can choose to assign it automatically while placing the part by navigating to the option, clicking Preference, and selecting the Miscellaneous tab. Tick the Automatically Reference Placed Parts option and click OK. Upon selecting and placing the part, the part reference will be updated automatically. To add or edit the footprint property, select the part, Right-click, and click, Edit Properties. Or double-click on the part. Under the Property Editor, specify the PCB footprint. Additionally, you can add a custom property using the new property icon, specifying the name and value. The user property will then be added to the Property Editor. View this property on the Schematic Editor by clicking on the Display Property icon and selecting the Display Format. Click Save to confirm the changes. Observe that the user property is displayed in the schematic editor. Furthermore, you can view or edit the Allegro XPCB designer properties in the filter. Edit the desired properties. Click on the pivot icon to switch the property editor view from row to column or column to row. Let's move to the design cache folder. When a part is placed in a design, the Capture X tool automatically stores a copy of the part in a design cache folder. This feature is designed to ensure that the Capture X design is self-contained and does not rely on any external supporting libraries, as copies of the parts are stored within the design file. This is particularly useful when sharing or transferring designs, as it eliminates the need to provide supporting libraries separately. Additionally, Users can replace or update parts by right-clicking on them. Furthermore, you can copy the part and paste it into the library for library development. Note that when a part is deleted from the design, a copy remains in the design cache. To remove any parts that are no longer in use, users can select Design, Cleanup Cache. That's all the time we have now for this video. To learn more about the ORCAD X Capture tool, click the link below and enroll for free courses on the Cadence Support Portal. Thanks for watching.